Hello and welcome to the Inner Space Vlog. My name's Terry Brightwater, this is Vlog 54 and this vlog's theme is celebrating our uniqueness. It's, um, it's been quite a while since I did my last vlog and I've had um, lots of holidaying and resting and um, yeah, just generally transforming really. And um, I hope you guys have as well, uh, since my last vlog, there's a lot of water that's gone under the bridge um, since the last time uh, I published a, a vlog. So I'm in South Wales um, on the uh, Afan Valley, which is a local valley near where I live. And this is one of the many spectacular waterfalls behind me on the River Avon. So, celebrating our uniqueness, sort of like, um, like this waterfall behind me, um, our uniqueness is unique. It's kind of what really defines us. And um, this is the most recent uh, theme that I've noticed in the last uh, two weeks as I've been working with my clients, my life coaching clients, and uh, working on myself as well. And uh, it's quite a challenging one, this because um, when we're celebrating our uniqueness, it's really connected to um, our creativity and how playful we can be in our creativity. So we can all be creative, but can we really enjoy it? You know, is there a joy, is there a playfulness, is there a lightness in our creativity? Um, a lot of um, past spiritual masters and uh, mistresses have said that those who are the most creative playfully are the closest to the divine, to, to spirit. So that the, there is an element of our own sovereignty, our own um, uh, divinity that's connected to our uniqueness in, in terms of us being really, feeling really nurtured and feeling very safe in our expression of our uniqueness. Now, there's a, there's a kind of straightforward and in a way quite complex um, shadow with this in terms of um, most people I know, including myself, that when we've grown up um, in a culture that isn't celebrating our uniqueness. Um, there's this element of sort of like um, culturally of um, sort of like conformity. That um, you know we we have a lot of things in common, but we are unique. You know, just like snowflakes. You know, there's trillions and billions of snowflakes that come down in a storm or just when it's snowing, and every single one of them is completely unique. But when you look at them as a whole, they all seem the same, but actually they're not. So my point is, is that when we are literally celebrating uniquely who we are, especially from a creative perspective, we are going to be much more um, creatively and emotionally, spiritually uh, and physically fulfilled in our lives. Now, as I was saying earlier, one of the shadow aspects that kind of blocks us in this is um, usually we've grown up with a sense of um, shame around our uniqueness in terms of we've expressed our uniqueness and people around us have said, you know, you mustn't be like that, you've got to conform, um, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's this there's this resistance outside of us that eventually becomes within us as well um, to uh, conform rather than be unique. So eventually it, it, it becomes not safe to be unique. And um, one of the things that I've noticed as a life coach um, emotionally as I'm working with people, um, you can check out some of my other vlogs on um, emotional on the emotional scale which is entitled Our Emotional Rainbows. Um, there's an emotional scale that we, um, 
that we all have inside of us. And um, the, the one that I use has um, 22 points on it. And kind of right near the bottom, it, there's, a, there's a lot of our negative fire, what I call, you know, so um, blame, shaming, uh, judgment, um, slight projection, comparison. Now this is very relevant, this, this area, it's like at number 15 on the emotional scale, is very um, relevant to this issue of celebrating our uniqueness. Because in order to avoid the feelings of feeling ashamed of our uniqueness, we tend to try and feel better about it, going up the emotional scale a little bit, to um, express our judgment of ourselves, of our, of our comparison with others, we project onto others um, in our judgment, um, in our blaming. So we're kind of, we, in the negative fire, we, we're avoiding the feelings of emotionally dire, which is um, the shame and, and, and also the grief we have about not celebrating our uniqueness, you know, not feeling safe in that. So I hope this is making sense because it's quite an important aspect and I feel like in terms of evolutionary wise, individually and collectively, that when we start getting into and feeling more comfortable with the discomfort, you know, initially of celebrating our uniqueness, it's a really important aspect of us all moving on and living in a much more balanced, nourishing and nurturing way together. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've discovered, that's what I like to bring. And there's, there's a, um, a fairy element to this, the, the world of fairy, whether you believe in them or not. Um, as, a, as a psychic, I've been in touch with the fairy realm um, ever since I can remember. And it, for me, I've been quite lucky, it's never gone away. You know, I've been able to um, communicate and, you know, that's a big part of my space clearing, to be in communication with the fairy realm, which is the uh, Devic realm and the elements as well. So I like to sort of demonstrate um, the, the law of fairy, which is um, to celebrate your uniqueness you need to cover it up. So I'm just gonna <laughs> put on a, a prop, a little costume. So in the law of fairy, um, in terms of our negative fire, in terms of our judgment and comparison, especially around our creativity, others' creativity, our uniqueness and expressing that, um, we that, that judgment, that comparison, it's like putting on a mask. So it's not who we really are, and we're trying to hide our shame behind this mask. I actually brought this beautiful mask in um, Venice um, uh, in September when I, I went on holiday with my wife, Jay, to Italy um, with the generosity of a friend that lives there. and. Um, and in the streets of Venice, there's, um, I mean, it's interesting because Venice is famous for the Venetian masks. And um, as you can see, there's a lot of creativity that has gone in to make this mask completely unique. So there's a paradox here of that we can create these kind of quite elaborate masks emotionally and physical, uh, uh, sort of physically in our lives to actually avoid our uniqueness. So in the law of fairy, you put on the mask to know who you really are because when you take it off then you you've got the contrast of the mask and seeing your true self so i love that i love that um fairy wisdom the uh, sort of paradox of that so with that little bit of theatrical creativity in my vlog. <laughs> um, I like to read the affirmation to support you in your celebrating your uniqueness. So I am celebrating our uniqueness with open joy. I am letting go of my comparison. 
as a limited ploy. Acceptance and humility are my nurturing friends. My playful creativity is where it begins and ends. So if you need any support at all in your expressing your uniqueness, your playful creativity, then please contact myself or Jay Brightwater um, at uh, www.inspirational-living.co.uk. That's our website and there's a contact page on there. And um, in the meantime, much love and many blessings on your inner space. And I look forward to seeing you in the next vlog, in the next video.